Hey guys, my name is Doug with Infotainment.com. Today we're in the new body Wrangler JL. Um, now this is 2018 and up, the new body Wrangler JL. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the radios, the factory radios for the Wrangler JL and the Gladiator JT. So there's three different types of radios that go in these vehicles. The one that's installed in this particular situation is the UAA option code. Now, the UAA option code comes in two different variations. It, one of them comes with AM, FM, and satellite radio, and one does not have satellite radio. This particular one does not have satellite radio. So if you want to upgrade to get satellite radio, it's very easy. We'll sell you a replacement UAA radio with built-in sat, uh, as well as uh, a GPS or a satellite radio antenna, rather. So that's the first radio. That's kind of the base model entry level radio. Going up from there, you go to what's called the UAG option code. Now this is a seven inch display measured diagonally. Um, this has built in satellite radio, AM, FM, but most importantly, it has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, that's an awesome new feature with the new Wranglers. To replace it is very easy. These all come 100% pre-programmed for a plug-and-play installation by infotainment.com. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to remove your radio, and then you're going to um, install this one, as well as a replacement bezel. So this is a custom bezel too, just fits right over it. Um, so that's the UAG. Now, the very best radio you can get for the Wrangler JL and the Gladiator JT is called the UAQ. Now, this is the, the top model um, measured diagonally. It is 8.4 inches. Um, it does have um, AM, FM, satellite radio, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, um, but this one also has embedded navigation. So if you want navigation, just hop in your car, press two buttons, and you're on your way, this is a great option for that. So to get um, everything installed, it's very easy. I'm going to show you guys how to do it, so let's get started. All right, the first thing we're going to do here is just pop out the knee bolster here. Uh, you don't have to remove it completely, but it's just held in with retaining clips. You just want to get it just a little loose like this. That'll give you access to remove the climate control panel here, the center stack. Now to remove this, this is also just held in retaining clips. Very easy to remove. Basically, you just need to get in from one side and then just pop it right out. It's very, very easy to do. At this point, you could disconnect the two connectors if you want. Um, if not, you can kind of just have it rest here. But then you're going to use... Uh, seven millimeter uh, bit to remove these two screws here. Now they're also Phillips head as well, so you can also use a Phillips head screwdriver. Now that those are removed, the little bezel surround here just pops out of place. It just held in with retaining clips that go around the perimeter, just pops right out, very easy. That gives you access to the four screws that hold the radio in place. Now you just disconnect the connectors. Press the tab in, pull out. The, the larger connector here, you're gonna press the tab in and lift the lever up. Then the whole thing slides out. Press the tab in for the USB connector, and then press the tab in for the digital camera connector. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to install the first step up, which is the UAG system. Now, this particular vehicle does not have satellite radio. Now, for the compass to work on the replacement radio on the UAG, um, and you do not have satellite radio, you have two options. You could either install a, replace, uh, a satellite radio kit, which we carry on our website, which gives you not only satellite radio capability, but also the compass feature. Now, if you could care less about satellite radio, we do recommend buying our GPS antenna um, because this will give you the uh, compass feature.
All right, guys, now in this particular case, this customer wants satellite radio, so we're going to install the factory satellite radio kit by Mopar. So the right way to do it is to install it on the roll bar above your head. Uh, we do carry instructions on our website on how to remove the panels and then how you to install the actual antenna. You run the wiring down behind the radio cavity, and it simply just plugs right into the radio. However, in some scenarios, it is just as easy to just tuck it kind of behind the dash here. These are factory parts, so the signal is actually really good. I don't recommend this unless you know what you're doing, but um, in this particular case, I'm just going to kind of hide it back here and then tuck the wiring. You still get perfect satellite radio signal. So I'm just going to kind of tuck that behind. Now we have our mustard colored uh, FACR connector here. Um, again, the, the, the factory satellite radio antenna kit will give you not only satellite radio, but it retains the compass feature. All right, guys, now it's time to install the UAG, the 7-inch display. So we're going to plug in all the existing connectors into the exact same location as the radio we pulled out. We are going to have one extra connector, and that's obviously going to be our mustard color connector, which is for satellite radio and to retain the compass feature. So it goes right into the exact same location as the other radio, so we're just going to reinstall the four screws. Now we can install the new bezel trim. Just pops right over the screen. And then install our two screws. All right, now our climate controls just pop right back into place. As you remember, they do not have any screws. So that pops into place. And then we can just pop our knee bolster right back into place. All right, guys, now that everything's buttoned up and back in its place, let's go ahead and turn it on and check it out. So right away, you see a nice big display here. Uh, like I said, this is the 7-inch display, the UAG option code. Um, one thing you'll notice almost right away is you do not have a volume button. Or control anymore now you're going to use the controls that are on the steering wheel so the right side here up and down moves your volume up and down the left side does the tuning to different radio stations or the seek feature down here you still retain or you you keep all of your existing AC controls now one thing I want to point out just real quick if that's going to annoy you too much which it shouldn't to use the steering wheel controls you do have the option to upgrade your climate controls to something a little bit more like this. Now this, we offer on our website, it gives you the volume, it gives you the seek, and it also gives you digital climate controls. So what you're going to do is you're going to install this in the vehicle. Um, you install the obdgenie.com programming tool, um, and that will give you uh, the volume dial and digital AC control. So something to think about as well. So back to the radio. Under the radio soft key here, you have AM, FM, Sirius XM. You guys remember we did install that Sirius um, antenna. The media section here would be for your media controls in the um, center console here uh, or the instrument panel. You do have the, those features here. You retain those. Uh, if you press the phone feature here, you do want to repair your phone. This is a new system, um, so you will need to repair your phone. Apps just allows you to drag and drop or reorganize what you want. Uh, the compass will actually show up after, um, after you drive around for a minute or after the vehicle is running for a little bit. It will eventually sync up to the GPS satellites, and then compass will begin to work. The settings menu allows you to come in here and change all your factory settings. 
and then your audio here at the end, self-explanatory, balance fade, equalizer, so on and so forth. Um, you do retain, obviously, your backup camera. You do now notice a nicer big display, so it is a, a great safety feature. Um, so uh, one of the big reasons why we're going from the UAA to the UAG is for CarPlay and Android Auto. So let's check that out. So you'll plug your factory lightning cable into your phone, and bam, now you have full factory Jeep, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto capability. Um, awesome feature, guys. For those of you who don't know how this works, um, check out our YouTube channel. We do offer a lot of instructional videos on it. But a brief rundown, uh, you have make and receive your phone calls, Apple Music, for those of you who are subscribed to that. Apple Maps takes you where you want to go. So you have GPS right here on your, your um, screen. Messages is an awesome safety feature. As you get a text message while you're driving, you'll get a pop-up notification that shows. All you got to do is press it, and the system will actually read it to you and allow you to respond without taking your hands off the steering wheel. So that's great. You got all these other features like podcasts, audiobooks, at bat, Google Maps, for those of you who love that, as opposed to the Apple Maps. Awesome feature there as well. Um, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Sirius XM, if you have the, the app on your phone, um, you can utilize it that way as well. Uh, Spotify, crowd favorite there. Um, something I personally like is Waze, which works really well. Um, it, you know, this is a little bit different than the other ones in the, in the sense that it tells you about traffic delays and speed traps and stuff like that. So that's really cool as well. Um, so just a great feature. If you were to press and hold the little button here, that does activate Siri, so you can ask any question you want, really. Um, so you also want to check out the CarPlay page on Apple.com, where it tells you all the apps that are compatible with this system. So now I showed you guys how to go from the UAA to the UAG. Now we're going to go from the UAG here to the UAQ, which is the larger screen. These are all options, guys. Um, going from any radio all the way up. So let's do that one now. Everything's buttoned up, so let's turn it on and check it out. So right away you notice the nice big 8.4 inch display. Whether you're coming up from the UAA or you're coming up from the UAG, it is a pretty big difference. Um, you see here in the radio soft key, you have AM, FM, and Sirius XM. Pretty cool. Um... The FM, I did want to point out, you do gain HD radio, which is a great feature itself. Makes these uh, AM, FM, or the FM stations crystal clear. Also gives you a bunch of additional stations. Uh, the media soft key, just like the UAG, you do have the Bluetooth streaming audio aux and the USB features. The climate feature here, since this vehicle did not come with the digital climate controls, it will mimic what you do down here. But you can't actually control anything from up here. It just shows you what's going on down here. Uh, as I mentioned before, if you do decide to um, upgrade to the digital climate controls, uh, not only do you gain the volume and the seek knob, but you also have the ability to change the AC from the screen and the uh, climate control. So, so I just wanted to throw that out as well. Uh, the apps feature here allows you to drag and drop things down to the home row down here. Um, it gives you a list of a couple different cool things. Uh, the nav feature is an awesome, very intuitive feature here, guys. Where to, to go to your address, your favorites, your home, you could store it all in. Uh, the view map, you notice it pinpointed our location immediately. Um, 2D, 3D maps with 3D landmarks. Really cool uh, pinch to zoom feature, kind of like your traditional iPads or tablets. Um, just a really great navigation system. 
Uh, the phone button here, you do want to repair your phone, so just select yes and then follow the prompts on your phone and the screen. Uh, the settings menu, something I wanted to point out, obviously you can come in here and change your vehicle settings, uh, but the cool thing that I wanted to point out is in the display, you can actually change the theme. So there's all these different things you could choose from um, to change the look uh, or the wallpaper uh, up to 17 different themes. So that's kind of cool as well. I think it defaults to Jeep too. So just an awesome system, guy. guys. The um, other thing I wanted to point out was the backup camera. Look how big the screen is. It's all crystal clear. You know, the new Wrangler uh, JLs and JT uh, Gladiators, they have digital cameras, so the picture quality is just fantastic, especially when you upgrade to the bigger screens. Guys, just to show you again, the UAQ is CarPlay compatible. So you plug in your lightning cable, plug it into your phone. It works just like the UAG. It will pull up here on the screen. So you press the CarPlay soft key, and bam, now you have it here as well. Um, the picture is quite a bit bigger, as I mentioned, so you'll be able to utilize it here as well. Just an awesome upgrade, guys, here for the Wrangler JL and the Gladiator GT. We do so much more here at infotainment.com rather than just radio upgrades. As I mentioned, the digital climate control, um, that's a cool little option. We do um, leather seating. Uh, come check out our website for all the leather seating uh, through cat skin that we offer. Uh, soon we're going to get into replacing. If you have the basic Sport, uh, you do have the small little EVIC cluster here. Um, we will have an option soon for you folks to go up to the to the EVIC screen that fills up the whole center section here. So that'll be cool as well. Um, blind spot monitoring, that's something we're going to be working on. All factory parts, guys, all pre-programmed by infotainment.com. Blind spot monitoring, you'll get the, the little notification in your mirror, which would be pretty neat. Um, another thing that's really annoying about the new Wranglers is the auto start stop feature. Every time you come to a stop sign or a stop light, um, the car will shut off. Well, we did partner with obdgenie.com. We do carry a kit that you easily install behind this climate control to disable that. So this thing is always off. Um, just a bunch of cool little features like that, guys. So come check us out at infotainment.com. Thanks for watching.